Hello again everybody, I'm um, back with the Toyota MR2 as I said I would be last time in my other review this car is produced by Auto Art and I got it for £30 which for Auto Art is pretty good value um, before I do the review as ever I'll just give you a bit of background information on the car this model of the actual car was produced between 1999 and 2007 it has the MR layout which is obviously mid-engine rear-wheel drive has a 5-speed manual gearbox, 6-speed manual which is only available in Europe and 6-speed sequential manual uh, the 1.8 litre straight front engine produced 138 horsepower which obviously isn't very much but this is a road car not a uh, which is production car that isn't a supercar so just your everyday ordinary roadster really Anyway, on to the actual MR2. Uh, I'll use Kyosho's little thing for this view because some parts are quite difficult to open. So, starting at the front, here we have the lights and here we have the lights and indicators. Uh, they obviously aren't as very good value, uh, not not as good um, quality as a higher auto model, but still they'll do alright really as well as the lenses they're quite thick plastic uh, the Toyota badge on mine which is photo etched has broken off a little bit as well as it says MRS and the reason why it says MRS is because in Japan this car is called the MRS so don't write in comments saying oh, you've said it wrong that, that is supposed to say that in Japan so to get to the front, we just open the bonnet. This is very difficult to do if you don't have any nails, as well as it won't even hold itself up, so you have to hold it yourself. There are no hinges, it's just the uh, hinges that auto art put in just to open it. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, there is no real detail in here, apart from a little compartment which holds probably water, it doesn't really say. But you've got all markings on there which say MR2. Uh, God knows what that says, but anyway, it's there. So, moving around the car, we see the uh, wheels and the calipers there. Not very really well done at all. But you get the brake discs there, but that's about it. Spokes, a few little detail for the nuts and bolts, and an indicator light. And on the door, you get a molded door handle, but there's no um, mesh for the intake. I'll open the door now for you. It's quite stiff. I haven't used it in a little while, but the uh, there's a wing mirror as you can see with a piece of plastic in there just to reflect the um, image and really for this value for the uh, price range you get a carpeted floor uh, textures on the door lining as well as on the seats so not bad uh, you get a photo etch seat belt uh, steering wheels on the uh, correct side um, yeah, it's quite loose with the wheels, but it's all right. So I'm just loosely moving it there. So if I lift it up, you can see it. It's really light steering, so you do get quite a lot of movement for the wheels and the steering wheel, which is a good thing. You get a uh, speedo, uh, rev counter, and moulded detail for like. Uh, buttons and glove box over the other side and just aircon and there's a radio and the controls for like aircon etc let you look in there for a sec pedals obviously so yeah that's the uh, driver's side at the back you get lights MRS all over the place really a uh, brake light and more brake lights and reverse lights and the rest of that malarkey to open it again it's pretty difficult because it's a pain 
if you've got no nails. And here we get to see the engine. Uh, it's a really small engine as you can see. Uh, all the uh, mains are further down in the actual car. But obviously for this price range you're not going to see that. Like a company say BBR. But that's not to worry. Oops, excuse me. But uh, you do get a little bit of detail but it's not really any metal it's just plastic. So doesn't really matter there. So uh, some co uh, cooling area for the engine. On the other side we get a uh, fuel filler cap but which doesn't obviously open. On the, on the passenger side you get a glove box. Just a bit of easier view for the dials. See if I can zoom in for that for you. A bit faster actually. There, you can see the dials and the radio and the glove box and where the aircon would be. So car doesn't have suspension which is a shame but can't really get that for 30 pounds uh, there's the roof which obviously doesn't come up because that's just moldy plastic and the windscreen and windscreen wipers which sort of wiggle a little bit but I'm not really supposed to oh and on the bonnet you get where the uh, fluid would go to uh, wash the windscreen so really that's about it for this video, I can't really say much more about this car because it hasn't got much to say about it. Uh, if you want it, I, I do kind of recommend you get it because it's a nice everyday car you can get in model and that's always nice to have, just rather than just all supercars. So that's about it for this video, uh, don't really know what I'll be doing next. Might yeah I don't know really so <laughs> if you have any requests send me them I might buy the model not really sure but if you have any requests as I say just send them uh, I might get hold of the model so until then I'll see you in the next video please rate comment subscribe and I hope you enjoyed <laughs>